Hey friends, this is Adam here. Um, not having showered, and that's not because I don't care, but it's because I have a kid. Uh, shout out to all you parents out there. Woo -woo! Uh, but this, uh, this is not uh, about me. Uh, this is about you. And I'll explain what I mean here in a minute. Uh, but I, first, I want to show you a painting by a painter, a Russian painter from the 15th century named Andrei Rublev. And this is a famous painting um, of a scene in Genesis chapter 18 when Abraham welcomes uh, a visit from three visitors, three guests, who are also the Lord. Um, the text does not distinguish between the Lord and these three visitors. Uh, it's sort of playful and mysterious in that way. And it's one of the scriptures and one of the passages in which uh, we see Abraham and Sarah's radical hospitality welcoming these three visitors in the heat of the day um, by the oak of Mamre, it says, um, uh, this mountain being Mount Moriah, uh, this house being uh, Abraham and Sarah's home. And, uh, and it's also one of the passages that uh, theologians point to to talk about the doctrine of the Trinity. And Andrei Rublev is thought to have painted this painting to uncover the doctrine of the Trinity. Um, and I'm curious what you see when you look at this painting. The, the fun thing about paintings, the interesting thing about paintings, is that similar to scripture, we can read it, look at it, and we can all see something different. We can have different interpretations of what we're looking at. We can be drawn to things uh, in the painting, in scripture, uh, differently. Um, but a couple of things that I want to point out from this painting, one is this cup, which the center figure, uh, often interpreted to be Jesus, is blessing. And it's hard to see this red thing in the center of the cup, but that red thing is the head of a calf, which is strange, uh, except when, um, when you're reading the story in, in Genesis chapter 18, Abraham prepares a feast for them, and among the things he prepares is a calf. Um, and this is the head of the calf, uh, which this cup seems to be being passed from the figure on the left, which has often been interpreted to be the father, to the middle figure that is being blessed by the center figure interpreted to be Jesus, uh, that in a way that says, you know, not my will, uh, but your will be done, Father. May this cup pass from me, but if it be your will. Um, and I want to uh, look at the clothes that they're all wearing. Uh, the figure on the left is wearing gold and blue. Uh, all three figures are wearing blue, which is uh, a color of divinity. And the gold is the color of kingship. The brown that the center figure is wearing uh, is the color of earth or earthiness or humanity, uh, and which is why the center figure is interpreted to be Jesus being both fully human and fully divine. And then we see the figure on the right uh, often interpreted to be the Holy Spirit wearing green and blue, green symbolizing new life. And I want us to look at how they're positioned. Uh, if we look closely, we can see that the bodies are positioned in a kind of circle. Uh, and the circle is one of the symbols of infinity and, uh, and the life of God, the infinite life of God that is shared among Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But I want us to look at the middle here, this space. There's a space here, and this is where you all come in. There's a space open 
for us to join uh, at the table. It's an invitation. It's an invitation for us to join in the life of God. God has saved us a space at the table and wants us to join in the life of the triune God, the life of spiritual unity, the life of mutual shared love, the life of peace, the life of humility. Uh, God has offered us an invitation to join in that life with God. Uh, and when Megan and I look back on our time at First Elon, in a lot of ways, we will think of this painting and we will think of the hospitality that we were shown by you all. And we will always be grateful uh, for the hospitality that you all showed us for welcoming us uh, into your community, for saving a space at the table for us uh, and inviting us to join you. Uh, we will always be grateful for that. And when we think back on First Elon, we will think about hospitality. So thank you all for being God to us. Thank you all for welcoming us into your uh, communal life, for welcoming us uh, with open arms. And we will always be grateful for that. Um, and uh, we wish you all well and hope to see uh, many of you on Sunday. Uh, peace be with you, friends.